Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gratzel here again with another tutorial series. This one looking into Adobe InDesign. In this first video, we're just gonna look through the interface. In this first video, we're just gonna familiarize ourselves with the interface of InDesign. We're gonna explore and see where some of the tools are located and see how some of the tools are slightly different than they are in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the interface. In today's tutorial, we're just gonna go through the interface of Adobe InDesign. You're gonna notice that a lot of the features look the same as they do in Photoshop and Illustrator. Again, Adobe does a great job of trying to make them look and feel the same so it's not as big a learning curve as you learn the new program there's always going to be different tools and some things might be done slightly differently but for the most part the look of it is going to be the same so right here is our adobe interface and this might look slightly different depending on when you open it uh, but you'll see your drop down menu at the top your indesign logo and then your couple of options right here which is to create new or open an existing document so we'll start by just creating a new document and the dialog box opens up and again, looks very similar to what you'd see in Illustrator and Photoshop. You've got your presets for print, web, and mobile. And then you've got your presets down here and what those sizes might be. And then over here on the right, you can get into specifics. So you can choose them presets and it does it all for you, or you can customize it yourself. The top here is where you'd put the name of your documents. So we'll call this one test document. And then of course you get your width and your height. Right now it's set for picas. Uh, that's kind of the default for InDesign, but we're gonna change that to inches for ourselves. And you can see right now it's at eight and a half by 11 inches, which is a standard size piece of paper. You've got your orientations, your portrait orientation, which is vertical, and then your horizontal or your landscape orientation. There's a couple new features in this dialog box that I wanna point out as well, because this is a layout software. So InDesign is done for layout, doing single or multi-page documents. Uh, so some of the features they have in here are a little bit different. First is the page numbers. So in Illustrator, you saw you can add more artboards, but this one you can add the number of pages. So you can have a single page, have a certain, you know, single page, eight and a half by 11, or you can have four pages, or if you're doing a 35 page magazine, you put in 35 pages. You also have this box here. It says facing pages. So if you have pages that face each other, so as they're being laid out in InDesign, you make sure that's checked. So that way when you put it together and send it for print, it's all set up and organized in a way so that the pages are facing together. It's really great. And then also the start number. So if you want it to start, if it's a book that you're writing, a manuscript that you wanna do here, you can start it on page one or you can start it on page 10, whichever you'd like. Um, as we get into uh, talking about grids, you will see that we have some options here to put in columns. So again, with layout, you wanna use a grid typically. So there's different ways you can do that. So you can adjust the number of columns that you have in there. And then the gutter, which again, we'll go into the details on that. That's kind of the space in between the columns. You can adjust that size as well. Make it a quarter of an inch, half an inch, whatever you might want. Next, we have your margins. So it'll actually be able, you'll be able to set your margins. Uh, one thing I wanna point out here, if I click on one, let's say I click on the top, and I adjust it, all four of these adjust. So the top, the bottom, outside, and the inside margins all adjust. That's because this link button is checked. So maybe you wanna do something a little bit different, like maybe have a wider margin in the center. So you might want to unclick that. So then your inside margin, you can make it a little bit wider, have a little bit more room. So where that page folds has a little bit bigger margin there. So that's something to look at as well too. You can unlink it or you can link it back. And then below margins is what's called bleed and slug. We're only gonna focus on the bleed. That's, again, we're gonna get more details on this as we go later on in the tutorials, but bleed is kind of the overspill of whatever you're printing. So if you're printing an image or text and you want it to go off the edge of the page, you have what's called a bleed. So it goes outside the actual document. This is so when the printer cuts or trims your document, they're not gonna have a white gap on the edge of the page. It'll actually trim the image. So it looks like the image goes all the way to the edge. Again, you can, set this to whatever dimensions you want. And then it has the link button there as well that you can unlink it in case you want bigger bleeds in the top and bottom. Typically you don't have to worry about that, but that's always an option that's there. So I'm gonna have it at quarter inch bleed. So you can see that we're gonna have four columns, half inch. I'm gonna drop that down to a quarter inch gutter. What's really great about InDesign is you have a preview button here in the dialog box. You don't have those in the other ones. So I can slide this out of the way and I can get a preview of what my document's gonna look like. So this line right here would be my margins, right? There's that margin there. This is my bleed line to show me outside the edge of the document. And I've got four 
equally spaced columns with the quarter inch gutter. So I can at any time adjust that and my preview will adjust accordingly. Now I have to move this around a little bit. You can probably resize that. There you go. Make it a little bit smaller so you can see it live. So I can make my bleeds a little bit bigger. You can see that red line, that border on the outside kind of moves. So you can, that's a great way to do that. It has that preview sitting right there. So I'm going to leave it at this and I'm going to hit create. And there is my document. Now, just kind of an overview, you can see things look a little bit different, but really it's kind of the same layout as the other programs. At the top here, you have your drop down menus. And just below that, you have your control panel. The control panel controls whatever tool you have selected. So as I choose these different tools, that control panel changes. Over to my left here is my toolbar. You'll see a lot of similar tools, your selection, direct selection tool, type tool, pen tool, rectangle marquee tool or rectangle tool. So you see a lot of the same ones, but there are also some different ones that are specific to this program. The white part here is called your artboard. That's what you're working on. And then on the far right here is your workspace panel. Again, you might see some similar panels. There's your layers panel, your characters panel, things like that, your color palette. And again, any of these panels here in the workspace panel, you can find in the Windows dropdown menu. You can just select those and they will open up in your workspace panel. So that's kind of just the basic overview of where things are at and how to get a document started in Adobe InDesign. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.